And now it's time for Retro Game Fitness. iToy Groove was the second game released to support the iToy. It was on sale in the UK in time for Christmas 2003 and was released in North America in the spring of 2004. The packaging has an understated psychedelic late 60s early 70s vibe and claims in its manual that with the iToy Groove you can dance your way to fitness. But in retrospect, can it live up to this claim? I strapped on two £5 wrist weights and I grooved for an hour and a half every day for a week to find out. With a launch video as energetically groovy as this, I had high hopes for the game. To help with my aim to lose weight and gain fitness, I selected Solo Groove from the main menu using the most effective method possible, which I called Flappy Hand. This reveals initially 20 tracks, and once all have been played through, 5 more bonus tracks are revealed. There is a good mix of music here, mostly recognisable groovy dance tunes, and most of them from around the turn of the new millennium, but there are also several dating from the 60s, 70s and 80s. A nice touch is from the chill out room on the main menu you can access all the tunes and their music videos for a nostalgic bonus. Once I'd selected Solo Groove from the main menu, I would generally play through, one by one, all the 25 tracks. What worked well for me in the selection of difficulty level was, during the early part of the week, I would select uh, Easy, and then as I got better, I would select the dynamic level of difficulty. So once you've overcome the menu screens and loading screens, the game finally starts. And for those who have encountered the first game to support the iToy camera, iToy Play, it looks ever so familiar. And to prove it, here is a snippet from one of the 12 mini games from iToy Play, Beat Freak. So you may well be thinking that at the very least it could be deemed somewhat lazy from SIE London Studios, especially given the promising dynamic launch video on the initial loadup of the game. However, it is forgivable given that this is very much an upgraded Beat Freak. 
First, on dynamic mode, you are being continually graded. Too many bad timings or misses and your grade will slip. If your grade hits E, then a warning siren sounds and if no improvement is noted, the game is prematurely halted. Second, there are various dance icons that give the game much more variation. Third, there is a freestyle bonus round where you can go a bit manic for a few seconds. Fourth, there is a post bonus round where you can pose for a photo opportunity. And finally, there is a calorie counter which estimates how many calories you burn on each track. For information, if you play through all 25, you're looking at around 300 calories burned. And all importantly, with five pound wrist weights at the very least, I found that iToy Groove successfully raised my heart rate into the correct training zone. So all is forgiven, right? Wrong. Please observe how long it takes from finishing one track to move on to the next track in a well-lit room and noting this was after becoming a relatively dab hand at the process. This is unforgivable now and surely must have been then. It is the most infuriating menu process I have witnessed in video games and is much more challenging and infinitely less fun than the game itself. This is unforgivable. So would I recommend the game as an inexpensive and entertaining way to lose weight and gain fitness? Well, I wouldn't spend a pound or two on an iToy camera just to get this game. However, if you do have an iToy camera and find the game, like me, for 50 pence, then by all means, give it a whirl. Troll.